Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Hi and welcome our, to our new video. We are doing scratch coding practices and challenging tasks. Our next task is finding maximum edge of a triangle. So we have to write a code that finds the maximum range of a triangle third edge where the side lengths are all integers. So the formula has been side 1 plus side 2 minus 1 equal to maximum range of third edge. If we enter side 1 8, if we enter side 2 10, so that will give us 17 maximum range of third edge. If we enter side 1 5 and side 1 2, so that will give us 11. So the maximum edge of triangle will be 11. So let's uh, try this into scratch products. So this is my scratch view. We have to try this project. So let's start using events. This is my flag click. Whenever we have been clicked a flag, so we have uh, we ask a user for the side one. So for this we need uh, ask block. That is we will be asking user that enter side one value. Now whenever the user enter the side one value, that value will be stored in this answer block. So we have to store this answer value and you don't want to lose this value. So we have to store this value into some variables. For this we need to create a variable that is using variables block. So we have to click on this variables. There is an option make a variable. So we have to type side one and press OK. That's great. Now we have to store the side one value into side one and store this value into side one value variable now we have to ask a user for uh, entering side two value so we have been asking again that is enter side two okay great and the value have been stored in this answer block and we don't want to lose this so we have to store this value into variable so we have to create a variable that is make a variable here we will type side 2 that's great now we have to uh, store this and set this value into side 2 variable that's great so we have get uh, side 1 and side 2 value so we have side 1 plus side 2 minus 1 this is the formula so we have been side 1 plus side 2 so we will using an plus operator to plus those variables that is side 1 plus side 2 and the formula is minus 1 so we will again use another operator that is subtraction operator and on the left operands we will drag this and minus 1 that's great so this is the formula for finding the maximum edge so we have to display this so for this we need a looks block in say so that's great if you want to make it more informative so just use this join block it's great and paste into the second operand now we have to maximum range of third edge is this that's great if you want to repeat this process foreverly so just use the forever block into your code here so this is your block to finding the maximum range of third edge if you want to try it let's try it so if you try 8 and 10 so my first side is 8 and my second side is 10 so the maximum range of third edge is 17 that's great if you try 5 and 7 let's try it 5 and then 7 so maximum range is 11 so maximum range is 11 so that's it if this video helped you please like our video and do subscribe our channel for more informative videos thank you very much